Hey everyone, Reika here. So today I'm going to be talking about, of course, more Kuchan updates for everybody. So also, quick thing, I did add way more purple to my hair. You probably can't see it because it's kind of dark outside and my light bulbs are burned out, which is not helping at the moment, but I'm about to move, so I kind of don't really care. But there's also a blizzard happening outside again. The snow literally just melted like four days ago and then we got like blizzard number two coming through. So the light's not great, but there is way more purple. It's much more vibrant and I am super excited about it. I just, I'm in love with it. Um, and so I got it way up higher and everything. So maybe you'll see it in another video sometime. I'll post a picture on the cover so that you guys can see it better too. Anyway, so as we know, which I know I'm a little bit delayed in getting to it guys, but forgive me, Kotokumi has released two snippets of her music videos. So we have Ultraviolet's music video as well as Bridget's song. So I'm sorry I don't have a better video computer program to where you guys can see the video clip in the corner like some people have. I don't have that. I'm sorry. I know I'm a failure, but <laughs> I will get to that eventually. But I'm just going to play it and then I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts. I have already watched this before, but I'm going to play it again because I want to make sure I really have my thoughts together before I talk to you guys about it. So let's go ahead and play Ultraviolet first. Work it, baby. I'm just assuming when she's doing the whole little like booty thing. This really makes me want to dance so bad, guys. Okay guys, so that was the ultraviolet music video and I have to be honest, okay, my first impression when I saw it, I was kind of taken aback by just the hairstyle because I, I'm not a huge fan of it, it's a little out there to me and uh, I don't know, it's just, it's a little much up here, but I have to say though, the dance moves and everything that she's doing, like our dancing queen, Ku Chan, is back. Like that is the queen of live right there. Like she kills it with any dancing that she does. So, I mean, I think the dancing and choreography of this music video is fantastic and top notch. I really can't wait to see the whole thing in full. I know there's been a lot of talk about how it's really low budget and it doesn't seem like really fantastic and everything, but I have to say like, I don't know, like personally for me, when I thought of the song Ultraviolet and I actually heard the full snippet for the whole like radio edit of it, I I couldn't really picture else what else it would be other than like a dance song, maybe like in a club or something like that. But in a sense, it's got like the club lights, but then the fact that they're doing just a dance and focusing on that, I think is really, really clever. And I do like that. Um, not a huge fan of all the fashion going on in it and the hairstyle again, but as always, Ku always kills it with any dancing and she just has the best moves and everything just comes together as a whole. So I think it'll actually turn out to be really, really good. So I am really excited to see this one in full. And I don't think it's as low budget as everyone thinks. Like, yes, it's probably like all the music videos look kind of like they're done in the studio, but I still like this music video, to be honest, just minus the hair and the outfit, maybe something a little bit different. But man, am I psyched to see this one in her live tour that she will probably do this year. Hopefully, I'm assuming this whole tour is for her double face, so it better be. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to be really disappointed. It comes out to be like, best singles collection too. I'll be like, what? So I'm pretty sure it's going to be this. So I cannot wait to see what she does live with all of this and to do the dance live. So I think that'll be fantastic. 
So the next one that we're going to go through is the Bridget song, the little snippet that we have to listen to and the music video. So I'm going to watch that. So give me just a minute while we go through that one. what it means by Bridget song. Like, is it about a girl named Bridget or what? I always think of Bridget Jones' Diary, that movie. <laughs> her heels and the blue jeans. That is so cute. She's so fashionable. Minus the ultraviolet clothes in that music video. I don't like that. Bridget's song is actually a really pretty song and I, if I do recall I read the other day in an interview that she was talking about that it's about a very hard hard working women and what they do but that was like all she kind of said about it so I'm kind of interested to see the rest of the translation of the actual song but this music video while it's very simple it's really really beautiful and charming in that aspect because she's wearing a lot less makeup and she looks so young it's so cute she reminds me of when she was in her um, best second session like there during that live tour like how she had the bangs and everything like she just looks so cute and young and like for her age and everything like she just that was a really really good look for her and of course her body looks fantastic and the song's such a gentle one and like the way she just her emotions and her actions with her body like while she's doing this music video like it just really brings the charm of the song to life and I actually really like the effect of the projector projecting like the people walking and all that while she's standing there like I don't know it just added some new element to it that I hadn't even thought about so I think this one actually be a pretty good music video so I'm excited to see that one in Hull as well so now I'm going to play the double face teaser spot which is advertising several of the other songs and showing a few of the music videos so let's go ahead and play that one and let's see what we think We've already heard, of course. to admit I think Wicked Girls actually sounds really fun it sounds really different and odd but I'm kind of excited for that because I don't know what else to expect from it and Insane sounds really really interesting and again I've heard discussion about how all of the music videos in general like they're all like well these were just done in the studio they don't really look that good they cut their money budget with her so bad and everything like that and while I do understand that like yes Kumi doesn't have as much of a presence as she used to, especially back in like 2007 when she sold out the Tokyo Dome for her Black Cherry tour and things like that. However, I feel like part of it that we have to consider, so she's doing two albums, right? We've got Double Face Inside and Double Face Outside. So in that aspect, when you think about it, I feel like the music videos are giving us the sense because it's supposed to be albums that are sharing the two sides of Kumi her inside, more gentle, loving, cheerful, happy self. And then we've got her outside, which is her aggressive and, you know, attitude side and things like that. And so with these music videos, while they may be simple, I feel like it's supposed to be because the albums themselves, I feel, are supposed to really just focus on Kumi herself and who she is. 
So we don't need all the distraction of all these other things happening in the music videos and all these crazy stories because she's just trying to tell you, this is me. And that's the kind of feeling that I get from it. So I don't actually really mind the fact that there's not like crazy scenery. Like when we think of like Walk of My Life and like Dance in the Rain, that music video was incredible. I loved the beauty and just the the narrative that they had with that and just it was just so different and just it was a very powerful music video and it's like one of my all-time favorites and I while I absolutely love that one I feel like this is just bringing something different because the aspect is Kumi herself so I don't know kind of keep that in mind let me know what you guys kind of think about that because that's what I got so if you got something different then totally let me know and comment below and let's talk about it Guys, I'm so excited because as we know, we're so close to her album coming out, or sorry, her albums coming out. And oh my gosh, I want to pre-order mine so bad, but again, we still don't have an exact date for when we're moving, but we have to be out of here by April 1st, so I can't pre-order it because by the time I pre-order it, we might have already moved and it's just, ah, oh, so I'm really like upset and frustrated because I want to pre-order Kumi's work, but I can't right now, so <laughs> I need to calm down and be patient, but I know it'll happen at some point, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on listening to any of these snippets or tracks. I will also include the link to the YouTube videos so that you guys can check these out yourself in the description below. And I will catch you guys next time.